Okay, so now that we can pick out M and B, we are actually going to plot a y-intercept form, an equation, onto a graph. So we, last week, did finding slope from a graph. Now we're going to add in an extra piece, right? And we're going to do it ourselves, and we're going to figure out what the M and the B is and plot it ourselves. So we first are going to plot the B, which is the y-intercept, on the y-axis, right? Intercept means that it intercepts it, it goes through it, it touches it, so that's why it's intercepting on the y-axis. Then for from our y-intercept, we are going to plot the slope. So we are going to rise over run, and then we're gonna continue until our line runs out, okay? So looking at the second page, Let's start with picking out our M and our B. So what is our M? Negative one half. This X should be right here. That's my fault when I was putting it in, I didn't realize that. And our B is three. So it said plot the B or the Y intercept on the Y axis. So we're gonna find three on our Y axis right here and then from there we are going to go down one right two 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 okay and we could even go this way and do the opposite. So since we went down one and right two, we would go up one and left two. See how I'm doing the opposite? Up one, left two. Up one, left two. Up one, left two. And the reason that it's the opposite is think about it. If I go down and to the right, well, you know you have to go left, but if you went up and to the right, you would end up with a graph that looks like that. That wouldn't make sense. Our graph goes like this, okay? So let's try and look at the next one. Same thing, let's plot our M and our B first. Our M is 3 fourths, our B is negative two. So let's plot our negative two. And in this case, our M is positive. So I'm gonna go up one, two, three, over one, two, three, four, up one, two, three, over one, two, three, four. It's probably the last one I can get going this way. <coughs> so I'm going to do the opposite. And I'm gonna go down one, two, three, and left, one, two, three, four. Down one, two, three, left, one, two, three, four. Okay, and again, if that's really confusing you, we can always do our up and to the right or our down and to the right. This is just kind of an extra step, okay? So, let's look at this one. What is our M here and our B here? Well, we talked about this before. What is the number in front of the X? A one. And we like slope to be in a fraction, so I'm gonna put one over one. What's our B? Zero, okay? The number next to X is always our M. The number that is by itself is always our B. So. Our B is zero, we're gonna plot that on the y-axis. From there, I'm gonna go up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one. You get the pattern, you should get the pattern, you should get the pattern. Pattern, okay? And obviously I can do one more. That's a lot of points, that's okay, all right? 
And then on this one, what's our M and what's our B? Our M is negative four, and I'm gonna put it over one. Again, I'm gonna try and always make it a fraction, just so that I don't even have to think about it here in a minute. And then our B is negative seven. So I'm going to plot negative seven all the way down here. And then I'm gonna go one, two, three, uh-oh, four, and write one. And that's already off the graph, so that ain't gonna work. So I'm gonna have to do the opposite. One, two, three, four, over one. One, two, three, four, over one. Okay, and you could keep doing that. A great way to check yourself is as you go left to right, is your graph going down? Since this is a negative slope up here, is your graph going down? It is, so we plotted it correctly. Okay, I want you to try and do the next one. 